All right, so I'm back again with another video. I decided to film a get ready with me today just because um, I need to film something and put something up on my channel. And I have a few new products and I've been excited to use them, so I thought why not film me using them. So enough talking, I'm just gonna get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, well, I already did my eyebrows, so now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. And today I'm going to be doing a purple eye look, just because I haven't done one in a while. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to use is probably this shade right here, just to like lighten up my eye. I should have put my hair back, but I didn't. This is kind of just to set the primer. It doesn't need to be set, but I like doing this just as a base before I even do my transition color. So the next color I'm going to use is this orange one. Yeah, the brighter orange as my transition shade. So I'm kind of going to pack it on because I'm not trying to spend forever on my eyeshadow today. Mainly, the new products I got are the base of my face, so like foundation, concealer, highlighter, stuff like that. So this is going to be pretty fast. So now that I have my orange on, I'm going to do the purple. So it's this color right here. And this is the Athena palette by Bad Habit. I got it off Hush. And they have like the dupes of a whole bunch of palettes. This is the dupe of the... Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette because I was not about to pay $65 for a palette. No. Even if I had a job, I would not do that. I don't know if I want the orange to still be seen or if I want to cover it all the way up. I'll decide that later. But I'm just packing the color on. You want to do motions like this so that you can get the most color payoff. Because if you keep blending it, you're going to blend the color away, and then you're just going to have to keep adding more and adding more. And you're never going to get anywhere. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take a brush that looks like this. Will it focus? Yes, like this, to blend it out at the edges. And since I blended it pretty good before, I don't need to do much blending as I'm doing this. But just make sure that you're blending it so that it's not like a harsh line of eyeshadow because that's ugly. I'm going to put my hair back really quick. By the way, if you didn't notice, I just braided my hair like two days ago because I missed my box braids. It didn't take that long because I did them bigger and chunkier. And I like them. But my forehead is like, boom. And I just use my finger. So I'm going to use this color. This is a light shimmer purple. It's called Epic. And I'm just going to use my finger and put it on. Oops. Now I'm just going to blend it. Not blend it too much so that it doesn't take it away. But just kind of make it so that it's like seamlessly blended into the purple. Now I'm moving on to foundation and all that. So I'm going to use this moisturizer. It's um, a collagen moisturizer. So it's like a filler for your face. For like your dark circles and stuff. All this noise in my house, I don't understand. You guys probably can't hear it, but... Mm -mm. And this moisturizer is kind of, it's pretty tacky, so it's good for like a primer. I used to use it during the day, but it started to like bother me because my hands would get sticky anytime that I had to touch my face. And so I just use it at night now. But it's good for putting on before makeup because it's basically like a primer. And then after that, I'm going to use my mattifying primer because I do have oily skin. My skin hasn't been as oily lately. Which I'm kind of sad about because I like having oily skin, like, 
when it comes to makeup sometimes it got overwhelming and my skin's kind of just going through a weird phase right now because I've started Curology and I think that's like messing with the oiliness of my skin and ooh, I've been using like different products on my face but as soon as I clear my skin and I don't have to use those things anymore my skin will definitely become as oily as it was before which honestly before it was like super oily and I didn't mind it the only time I really cared was when I wore makeup because then it was like now it, I just look like a grease ball but the reason why I'm wearing this mattifying one is because I'm trying out the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth foundation. I have it in the matte and poreless one. This is Cappuccino, which is my normal shade, but since it's summer and I'm a little bit more tan, um, and in the Dewy and Smooth one, they have toffee and coconut, and I'm like in between. But coconut, it's too dark for me still, because I didn't get that tan, but I'm still going to use it because it's pretty. I haven't put it all over my face. But today will be the first day I do that, so we'll see how this goes. I just don't like that it doesn't have a pump, like, really. But yeah, this, I bought this about a week ago. I think I just, oh my god, that was way too much. Yeah, it doesn't look that much darker than me, but it really is. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. blending brush to blend this all out first. I don't like putting it on my ear, so I'm not going to. And I blend down my neck, but not all the way down, just like the beginning. Oh my god, my face right now. But this is really pretty. It's so dewy. Look at that. My face is glowing. <laughs> Knowing me though, I'm gonna mattify it up. Because every time, like, I just got the Milani foundation, like, a little over a week ago and the first time I wore it was last week to this like carnival type thing just because I wanted to try it out and I set it way too much because I'm used to setting things because like when my skin used to be super oily I had to or else my makeup was not about to last but I really didn't need to do that and I just okay I'm Archie I didn't know you say hello to my video Got a new phone. Yeah, she got the iPhone 8 Plus iPhone yesterday. iPhone 8 Plus, gold, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, bye. I don't have anything to wear. Yeah, I really don't either, but... Okay, I actually really like this. But you can see, like, look at my face to my chest. I don't know if it looks darker, but it is. Whatever. It's not too dark. I mean, kind of, but... Now... The same day I bought, I went to Ulta and bought the Dewy and Smooth Foundation. I also bought the NYX HD Concealer in Caramel. And I wanted to try it because it's supposed to like photograph really well. And so, why not get it? Because usually I just use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. Or my um, RK by Kiss one, which is basically the same formula as the LA Girl Pro Concealer. But I wanted to try something different. And plus, this will kind of help even out my foundation so that it's not looking too dark. Now I'm just gonna, oh my god. I'm just gonna blend this out. I feel like the Real Technique sponge, like, it almost gets caught when you're trying to blend things out. <laughs> On camera, I look very crazy, but in person, it looks fine. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if this is a matte concealer or not because I've never used it. I've watched a lot of reviews on it, but I don't think anybody ever said if it was matte or not. I'm pretty sure it's not because the way it's looking when I'm blending it out, I have a lot of things to conceal. I'm also probably going to do a skincare routine really soon because my skin has been clearing up so good lately and I'm excited because this is like um, basically two years now that I've been trying to clear my skin and the skin routine I have now I wish I would have had it in the beginning because if I did my skin would have been cleared a lot faster even though I have tough rhinoceros skin it was gonna take like over a year anyways it would have been good for me to have the knowledge that I have now back then because I wouldn't have suffered as much when it came to my skin and I pretty much know how to control my skin now so it doesn't really try to pull any BS on me anymore because I know how to prevent it before it really gets bad but I'm not gonna make the tutorial the skincare not the tutorial the skincare routine until my skin is completely clear because I feel like that's hypocritical of me to say oh this is how you do it but it's not actually clear yet yeah, on camera this looks very crazy, but oh, I look so glowy and beautiful. Now I'm going to take the same brush I used to do my foundation, and I'm just going to kind of blend out the concealer on the side. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Oil Control, I was about to say foundation, powder, and I'm just going to use it like a pressed powder so I'm gonna oh, put some on my brush and just set my under eye very lightly because I want to keep as much of the glow from this foundation as I can I don't care if my under eye creases because it's always gonna crease so I'm not even worried about that today I don't care now I'm gonna set my whole nose because my nose is the worst when it comes to getting oily. And over the past month, I've been to Sephora. <laughs> My close friend and I, I've been to Sephora like literally 20 times this past month trying to find a good foundation. I've sampled so many foundation and I don't know why, but all of them look weird on me and it makes me mad. My cheeks really don't need contour because I have very prominent cheekbones and so look, you can see it looks like I already have a contour. But I just like to do it because I feel like it makes my makeup look more put together. So now I'm gonna use Oh my God, my blush that I've literally had for like seven years just broke. I didn't even think it was possible for it to break. But look how it broke though, solid. I'm, no. This is a big blush. And the problem is that the cap doesn't even really stay on very well either. So that's bound to happen again. I'm actually so sad. <laughs> that would happen to me. Anyways, I'm going to take my ColourPop bronzer. It's a pressed powder. And I'm going to use like this angled brush to contour my cheeks. Well, bronze. I don't like doing contour because I don't need it. I'm just going to be light with it. Now I'm gonna highlight, and this highlighter is lethal. Like, you don't even need to touch it that much, and it will, it's so pigmented. This is the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter in the color Gold Addict. I also got this from Ulta when I got the concealer and foundation and stuff. Like, look, that much on the brush. That's what I'm gonna start with, because last time I wore it, last week, to the carnival I went crazy at first because I was like oh you know mm -mm. never again okay so now I'm gonna do my nose and my cupid's bow the tip of my nose. 
Now, I'm gonna apply some blush. And this is just to add like some color back into my face. So, I put it basically right here. Now I'm gonna set my brows with this. It's a Maybelline Great Lash. It's the clear one, the clear mascara. But I use it to set my brows. I used to use the e.l.f. brow setting thing, the one with the brow thing on one side and the eyelash thing on the other. But it ran out so fast, and so I was like, why not just get this big one? Because this has lasted me like months now. Okay, so now I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu. I mean, no, my e.l.f. one. The Mario Badescu one is over there, and I don't really want to use it. I'm just going to use my e.l.f. one today. <clears throat> so that's that. I'm just going to let that dry. I look good. Just saying. Like yeah. Um so yeah. Let me take my camera off the tripod. Ooh. My lights are like right up there, so I don't know how this is looking right now. But this is the finished product. My eyes. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. I didn't line my upper lid like I didn't do a wing or anything I just didn't feel like it I just wanted to do mascara and bottom eyeliner and bottom mascara well yeah this is how I'm looking and I think I look oh you can still see my scar through that but that will be gone soon hopefully but yeah this is the finished product I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and um, make sure you guys like subscribe Turn on my post notifications so you never miss when I post. Stay tuned for my next video. I don't know what it's going to be because I don't even know what I'm doing in the next week. Hopefully I'll have one posted in the next week. I'm trying to do it like one video a week, but with all my work, because I'm in college, it's a lot. So it's kind of difficult, but I actually want my channel to grow and it's been growing. So I'm trying to get more videos posted for the people who do watch them. But yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, stay tuned for my next video, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.